I promised to come here and talk about what I did with my work and with my business. So after 16 years of working in accounting and finance and doing auditing and everything like that, all the boring stuff, <laughs> I finally talked to my manager and told him that I like to pursue my dream and have my own business. It was a great decision. It was a great moment and a really big day in my life. I shared it on my Instagram as well, so most of you guys know. But uh, I know that I promised to come and talk about it and answer some questions. So I know some of your questions and I'm going to answer it here. But if you have more questions, uh, feel free to leave me a comment below. So I started 16 years ago. Uh, I got my bachelor's degree in accounting and then I got my MBA in marketing. And I started working um, part time first for I guess about four years and um, that was the whole time was free and that doesn't happen in accounting as you guys know and uh, it's very rare that you don't get paid for working in accounting I and mean, normally you get a lot of money especially after four years are you kidding me anyways so I didn't get any money but I, I worked at different places different companies and I worked as junior accountant and auditor, um, junior auditor, senior accountant. Like I moved to different places, different companies and learned a lot. And I just went uh, up the, you know, uh, the ladder, I guess. And um, long story short, I, I worked at great company. At last company I worked in Iran was a great company. And uh, I learned a lot there and then I moved to the US. I started working at a, a, a very big company in real estate and um, it was a public company. Then I moved to another uh, investment real estate company and so on. And my last title is uh, assistant vice president and I'm doing budgeting and uh, operation planning. And that's where I am today. But I talked to my manager a couple of days ago and told him that I, I love to work here, but I also love to pursue my dream and that's to have my own business. And uh, it was a great conversation. He is a very nice man. He, uh, he understood that because he's also the owner of the company, one of the owners of the company. I guess uh, that helped me a lot. Uh, he understood. He um, definitely uh, said that he's uh, a little bit nervous uh, about what's going to happen. But he also understood that this is very important to me and I want to do it. And I really appreciate him. He is very understanding. And I, I really am I'm, I'm honored to work with him. And I hope everybody becomes a leader like that. So after talking about this important part let me just tell you that what happened during the way uh, to get there so um, about four years ago I realized uh, it's almost five years ago that I realized that I don't want to do accounting forever or I don't want to be in finance forever preparing financial statements it doesn't give me joy I'm here for another reason and, but I couldn't find the reason and that part was so hard for me I I tried to find it I looked for it for um, for four years but also a year and a half of that was uh, I was in pain it was really hard and then after that I realized okay this is a journey and I have to enjoy it and I'll find it and I'm on the right um, track and that made it really easier so if you're there if you're looking for your why and if you're in pain, believe me and trust me, you're gonna find it. Just keep going and just understand that this is a journey. You're not gonna find it in a day. Eventually you'll find it in a day, but you have to wait for it, work for it and look for it and just enjoy this journey. And um, that's what happened to me. So I, I took so many classes. I read a lot of books. I went to so many seminars, talked to so many people and um, got coaching sessions. And one of the coaching sessions helped me a lot. The first one actually helped me to find my real why. And to be honest, when I found my uh, why statement, I wasn't sure if um, it's gonna, this is gonna be the one, 
I thought it might change in the future, but I was okay with it. I was like, okay, I'll give it a try and see. And just so you know, my uh, why statement is, I'm here to shine a light on what is unseen so that all of us can achieve our potential. Because I truly, truly believe that if we achieve our potentials, we're gonna make this place, this world, a better place to live on. So that's what I do now. I help people. I'm a coach now, um, money and mindset coach, and help people find their path and also make money, thrive financially, and also feeling fulfilled. So back again, let me go back and uh, tell you this story because I'm sure it's going to help you guys as well. So after uh, realizing that this is not it, accounting or finance is not the one, and I'm looking for something else, I started different things. So I started with career coaching. I, uh, I started helping people finding another job. And uh, oh, along the way, I learned a lot of leadership uh, skills, negotiation skills, sales skills, and all of these. And I used those and helped others to learn those and be able to negotiate their salaries. And I got paid for it. So that's that's when I actually became officially a coach, right? Like officially because I got paid. Before that, I used to do that for free uh, just for my friends and families. And I never, I guess, thought that um, that can be my business. I don't know. Like I, I think I was too scared actually to think that way. I couldn't believe I can do it. Um, but I did it and um, thanks to the people who trust me and actually um, they got the results and that made me more um, excited about it. The, I helped people find a better job, get a higher salary and find even their first job in the US, like so many beautiful moments and that's so valuable to me and I loved it so much and I got so much energy from it. But along the way, I also uh, worked on myself and tried to become better and better every day, took a lot of coaching sessions, learned the importance of having a coach. And then uh, one of my coaches, he told me that um, you need to have a business mindset instead of employee mindset. And I guess uh, I had it because you know I've been working for a long time uh, as an employee. So I, as soon as he said that, I started changing that. I started being more intentional in my decisions because business owners are risk takers. Employees uh, are not really, to be honest, right? So uh, I started taking more risks and investing more on myself and my business. And I got the results and I saw the results and they gave me more energy to go even further and further and get me to the point to hit my goals even faster than I thought and talk to my manager and tell him that, you know, I want to go part time. So this is my, this was my journey and this is my journey. So I wanted to share it with you so that you can use it in your own uh, path and I'm sure it can help you. There are portions of it uh, that you might be great at and I wasn't or there are portions that I might be good like for example finance and stuff I'm 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 good at it so you might not be and it's okay you can learn it um but one thing I did and uh, this was it again coming from my uh, coach telling me I need to mix my knowledge and my passion together and that's actually what made a huge difference and made me become more successful so I had a great amount of knowledge on accounting and finance and number related stuff right but I had the passion for mindset leadership negotiation sales and these type of things so I decided to mix these two together and help business owners to thrive financially but also feeling fulfilled you know, not feeling overwhelmed all the time because I know they do. I know they do. So I help with my experience, my knowledge, and my passion. All of them together, I help my clients now and they're, they are uh, thriving 
and uh, happily thriving so that's very valuable to me and that's the most important thing i could ask for and that's why when i work now although it's more work for me i i i don't get as tired i i actually feel so good and i just want to keep going and going and just give them as much as value i can because it's just it's just that's what i was looking for you know to have an impact in other people's lives so find your why first and uh, if you are on the way to find it get a coach get some help you know there are some books that can help you there are some books right here behind me um here um and you can see it on my instagram as well and uh, that are, are gonna help you find your why and how to find it and then when you find it then start going for it and try to be creative and mix your knowledge with your skills and your passion together all of them together and see what you can create because if you do what you love oh my god it feels so good i'm so glad i found it although i work so hard but i truly love it so the reason i'm posting less videos recently is just because i'm very busy and, and i'm gonna it, it's gonna be handled soon but i uh, just wanted you to know and i wanted to share my journey with you because i know it can help you it can at least inspire you so i wish you the best best of luck in your path and your journey and uh, i hope you uh, benefit from my videos and let me know if you have any questions just comment uh, below and thank you so much for supporting me by watching these videos and uh, sharing it with your friends and liking them so i really appreciate it and i hope this helps thank you bye